Little Mix George Ezra, George's Smith. Little Mix are incredible yeah. performers. When we've got it's going to be drunk, it's going to be... Yeah. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you waited for. I've just literally finished editing up yesterday's vlog. It's right there on my laptop, currently uploaded. I don't know why I needed to show you that to prove it. But I now need to figure out what the hell I'm going to wear. Because I have no idea what to wear. I do not know what I'm going to put on my body, you know. I don't know what the situation is, like if I have to dress smart, I imagine I have to dress smart because it's an award ceremony. Um, so I'm kind of stressed, not gonna lie. I'm gonna make my bed actually first so I can put my clothes on my bed without having all this junk everywhere. So I'm gonna tidy my room, make it look a little bit better and then I'm gonna figure out what the hell I'm gonna wear. I'm kind of stressed, if you can't already tell. I need to shower, I need to get ready, I need to eat. I need to finish off doing some work because I've not sent over the final drafts of some stuff that I've been working on. <laughs> I'm stressed, this is why I've not been vlogging because my life's one big like rush at the minute and I'm just like he loved that for me i am gonna tidy my room i also need to go through these letters i've got some letters on the side from vidcon what you guys passed me at vidcon so i'm gonna sit and read those as well i just literally haven't had a spare moment and now we're going again like we're rushing again so i'm gonna tidy my room and then i will chat to you afterward right this side of my room is all nice and tidy i've just hoovered all the floor um however i now need to work on this side because this is not looking the cutest you know i need to sort everything out on there and put everything in its right place right it's time to figure out what the hell I'm gonna wear tonight. So, hi wardrobe. Um, let's try and make something work. I think I'm gonna go for this blazer, right? Maybe not this blazer and this t-shirt, didn't mean to do that. But I'm thinking this blazer, that would actually look really cool underneath there for an outfit pick, but not for the Brits. So we're gonna put that back in. I really did wanna wear the blazer and then this shirt. But I've worn this so much over the weekend. I went to Fashion Week in it, wore it for VidCon. Um, so I kinda don't wanna do that, but I thought underneath this it would look so, so cool. However, like I just said, really don't wanna do that. So I think this blazer, a white shirt underneath Underneath it, black trousers, and then I would love to go for white shoes. However, I don't really think I have any white shoes that look cute under this, so we're gonna work with it. Might have to go black t shirt underneath, but then I don't know what trousers. I'm stressed, right? Let's figure this out. Plan of action is we're gonna figure this out, you know? I really don't know what to wear. I feel like I've overworn this shirt, but I really love it, and I think this would look so so cool underneath this. Right, I'm gonna lay my shirts out on the bed with the options. I was gonna go with this plain white shirt, just like underneath. Kind of cute, and I've not worn that shirt yet. Right, I'm gonna get naked, and then I will be back. All right, so it's been literally like an hour later. We've made some progress. I've had some food and stuff in the time, but this is what I'm currently wearing. I'm gonna have a blazer and stuff on top of this, but I basically tied my off-white belt around because the outfit that I wanted to go with was super, super basic. I basically have been a DIY queen and tied my off-white belt around me and then literally just put a safety pin in the back there to hold it up. But then when the blazer's on, it doesn't look as plain, like half of it's covered, so you can only see like maybe the like industrial buckle and stuff. But this is the behind the scenes. So I'm now gonna just try a bunch of stuff that's laid on my bed and see what I can get to work. I can't really move, however, I'm gonna put the thing on and just show you briefly what I mean. I might do some more layering and add some more things to it. I can't really move without this thing like ripping my shirt, but fashion is pain. I don't know if this is me just being like a dumb fashion student, but I kind of think it adds a bit of interest. I don't know if I need like a belt on here now to just like have something um i want to go very like oh fashion not like oh like chill outfit like you would never ever wear this just like to go out in apart from like if it's the brits you know but yeah i want people to see me and be like wow fashion not like wow what the fuck is that boy wearing which is probably what's gonna happen but i think it's quite cool i just think the little off-white thing there just adds a little touch you know i'm gonna play around with a few things and then i'll get back to you we need to leave in literally like an hour's time i am starving again so i probably need to eat once more before we leave we've done it we've found the outfit boys and girls i've got literally two shirts on a bunch of chains and then I have my blazer on, this belt and then just some black trousers and my Balenciaga shoes. Don't know if it worked but we're going with it. I decided against the thing across, like the off-white thing. I felt like it looked too extra and I couldn't really move so this is what we're going for. Don't know if it works or not but I kind of, you know, kind of dig it. What's better than having one shirt? Having two. So, I have realised with 10 minutes until we need to leave that I need to probably do something with my face and my hair. Um, and we need to leave in 10 minutes. So, I've got my YouTube videos up on my laptop. I'm going to sit for the next 10 minutes and put stuff on my face and hope that it makes me look somewhat more presentable. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work and I'm really rushed for time, so probably not the best. First step, I need to wet this beauty blender. BRP. Oh my god, this beauty blender, being this big, has changed my life. Like, I really do not know why. I didn't invest in one this size before. I used to use this one. I used to use this tiny ass thing. I always regret putting concealer under my eyes, even though I look like a zombie, if not. There's just something about it that doesn't really, it doesn't sit well. 
All right, so it's a little while later now. We are currently outside the O2, just going up the escalators from the tube. We're in the biggest rush ever. I have put way too much concealer on my face, which is really embarrassing. I look really pale and I'm not really feeling my outfit at all, but we're almost at the Brits, which is super exciting. Look at this light with my like, I put way too much concealer on, guys. <laughs> Love that for me. There she is. The big boy British sign spinning round in all its glory. It's me. The there queen. she is, the queen. I'm not gonna lie, I'm most excited to see Hugh Jackman tonight. Can't <laughs> wait no, for no, that. Exactly five, exactly five. Yeah, but um, no, Hugh Jackman for me. Mom, if you're watching, I'm excited for Hugh Jackman. Oh, I'm so jealous. So look where we are. The little red carpet. It's not actually the official red carpet. It's just like who are we? We just come to collect us tickets. Well, the lighting here is really, really good. So I love that for us. Has we need to get a selfie in front of this because the lighting's really good. We've made it in. I cannot believe how bad my concealer is. It's not. Like, really yes, not. It is. It is. No, but I'm used to wearing a full I face. I think it's because I'm not used to seeing myself with this smooth skin, you know. I can just tell I'm wearing makeup, but I don't know if I feel like I'm not know if I'm feeling it, you know. We're really, really late. We're late. <laughs> Oh god, the queue was oh, such a long queue. Yeah. Oh yeah, we saw Gemma Colley as a Georgia from Love Island. She's so cute. I love how we're filming you that like, entire time. Hi! <laughs> Look how close we are! Is that... Is said that in music, male misogynist acts are examined for nuance and defended as traits of difficult artists, whilst women and those who call them out are treated as hysterics who don't understand art. Thank you very much. Me too, today. I can't wait to see Sam's okay. name. I also want his ex-boyfriend. Oh, oh, me too. <laughs>
literally just finished, they were insane. This time the music starts, it was literally insane. I'll talk more about it when I get home. But that was literally one of the best things I've ever been doing in my entire life. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> See you next year, man! Alright, so we're back now, as you can see. My face doesn't look too bad in this lighting, or I've either adjusted to the fact that I've got a lot of makeup on. Anyway, we have just got back from the Brits. It was so, so incredible. I am so grateful to have even been. The seats we had were insane. Me and Haz walked over as Greatest Show when we were playing, and we were both just stood there like, oh my god, this is his real life. Like, this is actually a thing. I saw a bunch of people there, like, on Snapchats and stuff. Alfie Days were there, Mark Ferris were there. A bunch of people that I've watched for ages, and I can remember, like, when Zoe and everyone used to go to the Brits, and I'm like, alright, maybe one day, and then me and Haz were literally sat there. That like, is so insane. Everyone that performed were incredible. Everyone that won awards, we saw Shawn Mendes. How could we that? In the same building as him, is that We were looking down, obviously, because all the tables with all the celebrities and the singers and stuff were all in front of us. And we were quite close. Like, I don't know if it looks close on camera, but we could see, like, Dua Lipa. We could see Anne-Marie. We could see Anne. I feel weird calling around every time it leaves my mouth. But we could see them all. I wish, wish, wish she won an award. She deserves it so, so much. But she didn't, unfortunately. So maybe one day she will. Um, but yeah, it went incredible. Incredible, absolutely insane. I don't know who to thank for getting us tickets because I kind of went as Hazard plus one, but thank you, Sarchi, and everyone at the office. Just thank you. Like, I am so beyond grateful. It was incredible and amazing experience. And hopefully, we'll go again next year. It made me want to be a singer like real bad. Seeing Anne Marie yesterday, I said to Haz, I want to be a singer. Then after the breaks, I even more want to be a singer. So if someone wants to lend me their vocals, that would be great, you know. Or if Haz wants to become a singer, then I'll just stand in the back like, one kiss is all it takes. And then I'll love my life, you know. It is so, so cool. Yeah. If you were watching at home, me and Haz holded up a sign at one point that said like sub two and then I'm just replying to YouTube comments, that's what's on my screen. We were holding up his phone that said sub two and then our YouTube names just because we wanted to be that viral bitch in the background like hee hee. But uh, the camera <laughs> weren't on us unfortunately. Uh, we also saw Gemma Collins, like she was wearing this big ass so red cool. thing and she just walked straight past us as we were walking in. She literally walked in the main entrance with everyone and I was like, whoa, the GC really is out here doing that. Anyway, it was such a cool experience. I loved it. Thank you to everyone involved in getting me and has there. I, in fact, I'll speak for us both on this. We are so unbelievably grateful. Hopefully there's many more things to come. And we yeah. We really are. Thank you. Love you I lot. I want to be. <laughs> love you lot. Love you lot. I want to be a singer now. I want to be Sean Mendes in particular. So, Sean. I can't believe we saw him. Like, I know. He's so sweet as well. Also love Little Mix. They are incredible. Who else? Sam Smith's voice is insane. No. I was kind of disappointed with Dua Lipa. I'm not going to lie. Sam Smith. Sam Smith is just an icon anyway. So like, he can do whatever and like, he's still an icon. And oh my god, Pink! I forgot about Pink! Pink is literally insane. I used to remember my brother used to dance around the living room. It's gonna hit me for saying this. But as a kid, my brother used to dance around to Pink like, so, so what? Um, so it was just really sweet. I don't know. It was really cool. Such an amazing experience. I'm gonna say it again. Thank you so much. Whoever got us invited, thank you so much. I want to give everyone at the office a massive hug. So if anyone's watching from the office, I appreciate you. Which we know you are, so hi Which we know you are, hon. Hi, hon. Me and Haz are both extremely grateful. So thank we you so are. much. If you want to invite us to any other things, we'll willingly go and make amazing Instagram stories yeah. to follow it. Uh, my Hashtag Instagram story is banging, actually. My Instagram story is so good. Anyway, Haz is going to say the exact same for her. I book, am. So, so we'll go over to my that. channel, check it out. <laughs> I need to wipe this makeup off my face because I feel weird. How do you think I feel, hon? I can't believe I'm an MUA now. I now understand why girls are like, it's come to that time of the day where we're going to remove the makeup, you know, because I'm feeling you on this one, girls. Oh, my ladies, if you feel me, let me hear you see it. Has where are you, um, face wipe? I told you. Has you've not told me though, cause you're not in there. Tell you where they are, Oh, I found them. So for today's video, all they're gonna be doing is removing the glasses, removing the makeup, and I've got, oh my God, I've got so much makeup on my glasses. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is the real me, guys. As Jess Glynn once said. What did she say, actually? I'm sad of putting makeup. Oh no, that's not, that's Anne-Marie. I don't wear makeup on good days. I'm sick of covering now. You're literally doing the music video. All right, so the makeup has been removed. I don't know if you'll be able to even tell a difference. I could just tell because I don't normally wear it. So I could tell that I had it on. Um, and I'm also perfect with and without it, so you probably don't even know it's love. Yeah? I've been sarcastic, by the way. Yeah, sure. Sure thing, boo thing. I uh, bought a Swiss roll from Nissa on the way back and I am so excited to eat this. Also, my hair looks weird because I did do my hair before we left. However, I decided last minute to put a hat on, so love that for me. I'm now gonna make myself some food. So I just went to Nissa and bought some stuff. I got myself some hash browns. I've been loving hash browns lately. You know, that's the tea. So I'm gonna make myself some hash browns. 
and check in back out and just see what happens, you know? Oh, I really need to tidy my room. I tidied it earlier and now look at it. It's like half past one in the morning though and I really just cannot be bothered. I've got everything everywhere. All right, so I've just gone into bed now. I am going to end this vlog here. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you did, smash a big thumbs up. I want to say again a massive thank you to the people that got me the ticket for this event. Anyone on Sochi, if you're watching. I know I've said it so many times and it's going to sound so boring, but like I'm generally so grateful and I don't know how to like get it across any other way. Um, it genuinely means the world. Also, thank you guys for watching this vlog. If you enjoyed it, like I said, smash a big thumbs up. It's been really, really fun. I'm going to try and vlog tomorrow. I feel like today got me back in the game a little bit. So I'm going to try and vlog as much as I can. Like I said, I'm going to try and not put pressure on myself because I always do and then never end up vlogging. So I'm just enjoying it. Picking up my camera as and when. Also, I made food and ate it. It was really good. I am now just going to go to bed because it's currently 1.32 in the morning. So that being said, I love you all lots and I will chat to you in a few days time. Bye. I love you, bitch.